Yeah, I got this uh, on Amazon. Don't have a clue how to use it though. Do you know how? <laughs> yeah, I just uh, ordered this on Amazon for a very low cost and uh, only problem is, don't know how to use the thing. How about you? I sure do, buddy, and I am gonna actually teach you how to use it, but you're gonna do all the work and I'm gonna walk you through it. How could that be? So this thing can test uh, how, the like when the antifreeze will freeze at one what temperature. So if you wanna see uh, how good your antifreeze is and at what temperature it will freeze, you need one of these guys. That's what that will show you. And I'll show you how to raise the freezing temperature and how to lower it for whatever weird reason you would want to. Okay, let's get into it right away, guys. So the first thing Ryan's gonna have to do here is we're gonna do this on a snowmobile. You could do it on a car. You could do it on a truck or a van. You can do it on whatever you want. Uh, when the engine is cold, you gotta open up the radiator cap. You gotta unscrew it there, Ryan. So you do that. Step number one, done. Okay, so now what you gotta do is see that little ball on top? You have to squish it with all your might, like a horn on an old bicycle. Yeah, and then put this end in there and then release it and it should suck the antifreeze back into it. Ready? All right, do it. Oh, way too hard, I guess, eh? Yeah, and then as you let it go, it should suck the liquid in there. Yeah, there you go. See it's sucking it in? Okay, so you pulled it out too quick and it didn't fill up all the way. So, so, so what you can do now is, okay, pull it out, put it upside down, like this. Give that thing a squish. Yeah, give it a good squish. Squish it all the way. Okay, you got it squished. Okay, now yeah. stick it in there again. Okay, now slowly release and it'll suck even more in. Keep going, keep going. Perfect. So that's what you want. You want it completely full, guys. So now you'll notice there's a little gauge here and there's a second gauge there, right? So now you can pull this out. And what you have to do is you have to see that gauge. There's like a little line there. You got to have it perfectly straight. So you can't have it like this. You can't have it like this. It's got to be straight like this. And now the second needle will tell you your freezing point of your antifreeze. So it has it here in Fahrenheit and in Celsius. So see it points. So it's pointing at 29 Celsius, just under 20 Fahrenheit. See that? That's what it's pointing at. So this antifreeze, I mean, it's okay, but if it was like minus 45 outside, it's actually not mixed properly, guys. A lot of times what guys do is they mix antifreeze 50% antifreeze, 50% water. But in really cold places like Canada, if you want to go up to like minus 45 or minus 50, you got to mix 60% antifreeze and 40% distilled water, not 50-50 um, because it's too cold. Like this is okay, but realistically what Ryan should do here is we should suck some of this out and add just pure antifreeze to it with no not not mixed like concentrated antifreeze to bring up this level and i think that's what we're going to do guys and then we're going to come back and see if that needle moves up what do you think ryan not too bad but you know what actually i have to add a little bit of antifreeze anyways i noticed it's a little bit low it's not on the uh minimum or max mark okay so we'll do that okay now we're gonna just here press press this thing and you can throw all that antifreeze back in there so you don't waste any so you can just empty it so anyways, that is how you use it, guys. It's pretty straightforward. So we are gonna, uh, I'll show you guys like a test with more antifreeze, just so you see the needle go up. Okay, guys, it is completely the next day, actually, because we ended up adding more antifreeze, just a little bit more. And look, see, it went right up, as you can see. So now it's good from up to minus 45 Fahrenheit, minus 43 Celsius, even more, maybe like 45, 46. So we are good, guys. Ryan is set for winter. Thanks, buddy. Another problem solved. Mm -hmm.